Thanks, Jane. Uh, the shock passing of rugby league player and premiership winning coach Paul Green has this week sparked a national conversation around mental health. Finding help can be difficult wherever you are in Australia, but it doesn't have to be. I'm joined now by Grazier and Lifeline Ambassador Brendan Cullen from his home near Menindee and Dr Mike Millard, Clinical Director of This Way Up, an online mental health service run by St Vincent's Hospital. Uh, good morning to both of you. Uh, Brendan, to you first. Uh, can you just tell us about you know some of the work that you do in the bush for Lifeline. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Linda. Um, yeah, look, I work in the peer support sector with both Lifeline and the Rural Flying Doctor Service, and um, you know it's important to have those conversations about how you're feeling. And you know, I've told my story over the journey, and it's allowed people to come to me and tell them get them to tell them their journey and what they're going through. So um, the peer support model works extremely well and um, basically we just hold conversations, whether you're in clinical peer support or just talking to a mate. It's very important. Yeah, it's that first step, isn't it? Mike, tell us about This Way Up. Yes, uh, so the uh, um, first thing I'd probably say is uh, my heart goes out to Paul's uh, wife and uh, family and friends and the whole community grieving this, this tragic event. So uh, This Way Up is a partnership between St Vincent's Public Hospital in Sydney and the University of New South Wales, and it's an online mental health service. So we specialise in a type of psychological treatment called cognitive behavioural therapy, and uh, it is a treatment, and, and the way that we've done the treatment is that it is available right across the country, so it's accessible everywhere. So it doesn't matter if you're in King's Cross or you're in Kalgoorlie. Uh, it's available uh, and it's, it's a really fantastic starting point uh, to be able to A, learn about, uh, I guess, the different sorts of mental health conditions and actually get treatment. We've treated over 160,000 Australians across the country using the program. Uh, Brendan, when you needed help, was it easy to find? Because I think people who are struggling, sometimes it just feels like a huge mountain to climb. Yeah, look, it's very difficult, um, even though it's right under your nose. Um, firstly, it's very difficult to self-diagnose. So for me, uh, I held a lot of stuff uh, in my head and I had, I didn't have a good capacity to actually get rid of it and I got to a point where I needed to do something and then I struggled to find support and it was literally there, but um, I didn't know how to source it and really I walked into the Broken Hill Base Hospital and I did that. And it took a lot of courage to do that. And I always talk about the first step. And, um, you know, it's important to get past your thoughts and look for help. And once you do that, there's a whole other world out there uh, of help and support. And um, beyond that, you do live a better life for it. Mm. It's such an important message. Uh, Mike, as Brendan said there though, it, that first step is just so essential. And uh, But asking for help can be really difficult for a lot of people. Absolutely. And we really have to get real about this because the statistics tell us that it's one in two people who will experience significant anxiety, stress and depression in their life. So really what that means is that if it's not you, it's someone that you love. And we also know that people are living, uh, on average, of about eight years before they're brave enough to take those first steps in opening up, reaching out for help. And that's usually because they've got to a point where they can no longer uh, 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 carry on uh, and are looking for help or something happens or someone says, look, mate, I think you need to do something. And it's so important that we start to get that right. Yeah, and I think too, you know, blokes at times can be uh, pretty hopeless at asking for help. So we really appreciate for both of you um, coming on this morning. It's such an important message. It's so important to get that conversation going and continue. Um, if you or anyone you know needs help, uh, you know that you are not alone. So please call Lifeline on 13 11 14. Charles. Uh, thank you, Belinda. Well, this next story.